everyone, I want to make a quick video here on something I've been working on in my lab. I uh, need to set up MFA for SSH connections. So in my scenario here, we've got a Ubuntu 20.04 server that lives up in Azure. Um, my Active Directory domain is a 2016. It's running Azure AD Connect and syncing up into my tenant. The Ubuntu server is also running triple SD and it is a member of that domain, which gives me certain things like the ability to log into the Ubuntu server with domain accounts. So let's give that a try. using the UPM format with the destination of that Linux machine. Let's see if we can get logged in here. Okay, so we are logged in um, as expected. Here you can see the UPM format down here so we know it's an account from the domain. And that's all good. Now, now what I want to do is I, I need to make sure that, that when that user connects, that they're forced to do MFA. So let's go ahead and disconnect. So there's a few things that need to happen before this machine is able to perform MFA with Azure. Now, I have a document here. I'll share the document uh, below. And this goes through some of those prereqs that I have found. First, obviously, you need AD and Azure AD Connect in place and synchronizing those accounts up into Azure. Um, once those accounts are in Azure, you need to go and you need to set up MFA on them, and these two URLs will take you to the place. The first one is the new one. The second one is deprecated, but it still works for now. And obviously, you need an MPS server with the MFA extension installed and working and all in place. So the first thing you do on the Linux machine is you install some free radius utilities using this command, this sudo command here. So that goes through and installs a, a bunch of things, but the, the primary thing that you get from it is the ability to perform radius uh, authentication. Once that's actually set up and running, that allows your Linux machine to be a Radius client, which is what this screenshot is talking about. In my NPS server, I have set up my Radius client. <clears throat> now, I have two subnets, local and Azure, <clears throat> and I have them set up using, um, you know, entire subnets. So that any request come from this subnet will be processed and it's going to use this shared secret. By the way, the trick to see what your shared secret is, you can go in, just look at generate. It'll tell you what your shared secret is for that client. So anything coming from this subnet is going to be processed and it will be decrypted using this shared secret. Okay. Now, once that is in place, we have our Radius clients, we have installed utilities, we need to tell Pam that it can t uh, how to talk to our Radius server. So we need to go over and update the Radius auth comp file. So let's get back over here. Now, what I'm gonna do is use a local account. So SSH. All right, so now I'm logged in. You can see it's local. It uh, doesn't have the UPN format. This is a this is an account local to the Ubuntu server. So let's <clears throat> just going to do this. So I have to sudo our tenant. Hmm. 
Okay. And if we go down here, you can see I've already added the entry for my radius server. IP address, the shared secret that they're gonna that it needs to use, and the timeout. Your timeout needs to be I recommend 60 seconds. You can probably go as low as 30, but there's no point. Just do 60. Give your users time to perform MFA. Okay, now that that entry is there, control X. Now we need to modify a, the the next file, which is the SSHD file. This is the configuration file for SSHD, and we need to tell it to use Radius as the authentication method. <clears throat> so let's go back over here. We'll do a nano etsy m.d sshd. Now in here you can see these are currently commented out, but I added these here. They're not there by default. And this is the one that really matters. Auth required PAM radius off that SO, that's that shared object. So once that's added, control X, yes, and save it. Now we have updated PAM radius auth comp to talk to the radius server, the SSD telling it to use radius. Now we need to restart SSH so that it applies those new settings. Okay. Now we are back in business. Let's kind of watch our MPS server for radius requests as they come in. And we're going to watch our, our device, our MFA device. So let me get out of this. And <clears throat> let's go back to our account. This is the account that lives in the domain, has been synced to Azure AD, and has MFA set up, as you can see over here. Here's our request. Approve the request. Access to accept. And we should get in. All right, we are in. Life is good, right? One small problem. This is great, but unless you remember to add these accounts to your sudoers list, they're just users. They're not going to have rights. And if you didn't, and, and so, now the problem is now you've forced MFA. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. Pseudo nano, and I want to take a look at that SHD file again. Ooh, that's not good. This account doesn't have rights. So what do we do? <clears throat> How do we get around this problem? Well, as it turns out, there is a way around it. This Nate-Ubuntu is an account that lives in the domain, but this is also a local account. And this is where you can use a, a trick, I guess, if you will, that um, NPS does. So let's get out of this. Now, if you send a request to MPS that's not qualified, as in uh, a UPN or a domain backslash, MPS makes the assumption that account is in its own domain, and it will go look it up there. So let's do that. You'll see the request come in is different. Here, MPS 
just made the assumption, looked it up locally, prove it, access accept, and we are back in business. <clears throat> the great thing is, because Ubuntu sees this as a local account and not a different account from the domain, we can do our admin job. So that's how you can set this up and for your administrative accounts, you can mimic those accounts inside of AD and sync them across. You don't want to pass the UPN when you use it, you'll just use the uh, same account name and MPS will look it up in the local directory and everything is good to go. So there is a tool out there that I am still learning called Vault, which has capabilities very much like Microsoft Lats, where it'll manage all the local admin accounts. Um, and so that might be another option for you instead of doing all of this manually. Anyway, I hope you found this useful. Again, I am not claiming to be a Linux guru. If there are errors in my documentation or this process anyway, let me know. I would love to learn about them and I will update the documentation accordingly. Also, I don't have a video on the uh, bare metal setup of MPS and the MFA um, extension. If that's something that you, you all would like to see, yeah, um, let me know and uh, we can work on getting that video set up as well. Anyway, hope this helps. Have a good day.